Welcome back to Africa 54. In Somalia, there is a quest for better working conditions for journalists. For more, we now turn to Africa 54's Nimi Akimokaliel and Demi. Well, thank you, Vincent. A new media law by Somalia's government proposes to provide legal protection for journalists, many of whom have been targeted and killed for simply doing their job. Many watchdog groups, including Reporters Without Borders, have ranked Somalia among the worst places in the world to be a journalist. For more than two decades, many Somali journalists have paid with their lives for reporting what was happening in the country. Last year alone, there were 18 reported targeted murders and assassinations of journalists countrywide by such groups as Al-Shabaab. In his quest to rebuild the nation's image and crumbling institutions like the media, the Somali government is drafting a bill that will provide industry standards and journalistic ethics, as well as a level of legal protection for media workers. During the drafting process, it is consulting with stakeholders, the public and civil society organizations, through a series of conferences, workshops and meetings in the capital Mogadishu and across the nation. For us, what we did was uh, and we tried to uh, bring the concerns of the international community as well. So the current draft is the product of a serious consultation and serious uh, feedback and, and, and uh, constructive and, uh, criticism from various groups which we have taken into account and we believe the current draft meets the, the concerns of the Somali people as well as the international partners. If the proposed law complies with the Somali constitution and international press freedom standards, journalists and some civil society groups say it would mark a new chapter for the Somali press, giving it unprecedented freedom and a set of rights and responsibilities. Honestly, we see this draft media law as a new beginning. It is a great start for journalists in Somalia. It promotes the welfare of journalists, freedom of speech, and it provides a protection for the journalists. At the moment, they do not have that, but this law will form the basis for this protection. The media is a very strong and vibrant, uh, vibrant sector within the Somali society and to actually establish a strong relationship between the media and the government is to, just to ensure that you know, the information that is being disseminated into the society is correct but at the same time that we don't trample upon the rights of the journalists. It's, it's a very, very important media law and it's, it's a very important debate to have. In recent months, the Somali government has, however, come under heavy criticism after local and international media watchdogs voiced fears over some of the articles in the proposed media law that require journalists to reveal their sources and forbid them from disseminating information deemed to affect national security. In its 2013 Reporters Without Borders Press Freedom Index, Somalia ranks 170 out of 179 countries. To discuss this further, we are joined by Haroon Marouf, senior editor in VOA Somali Service. So I should say welcome yet again to Africa 54, Haroon. Thank you. Now, this uh, drafting of the media uh, law or media bill has been going on for several months now. What stage is it at and how uh, seriously are these consultations being taken? The consultations are very serious. They are taking place throughout the country in Mogadishu, in Puntland. Tomorrow there is a large meeting in central Somalia in Galkayo to further discuss and consult with the local journalists. So it has to receive input from all mm -hmm. parties of Somali, all regions, from all journalists, from all stakeholders, so that it can be a very important, viable document that reflects the views of all journalists and stakeholders. And what are those views of journalists? What do they want to see in this media bill? Well, the, the, these are universal uh, rights, universal laws in terms of journalism. They wanted to be able to report their stories freely. They wanted to have access to all kinds of uh, to, to, to all kinds of offices, so okay. that they can investigate the stories. What the journalists in Somalia today are doing is just report what's being said, mostly by politicians, by by other newsmakers. But the ability to do investigative reporting, mm -hmm. uh, follow up and uh, investigate deeply the stories, this is not happening because of the journalists are fearful for their life. So there is a lot of self-censorship. And uh, we know that uh, the journalists can easily be put into jail, if not kill it. We, you have just reported that right. 18 journalists were killed yeah. last year. This year, six journalists were killed. So the, there's always 
life, it, it, it's a matter of life and death yeah. for the Somali children. Now, how much would this uh, law, if it becomes so, protect journalists against, say, Al-Shabaab, who have been responsible for the most of the targeting and the killing, isn't it? Well, I don't think they are, make, they are creating this law to, uh, they're creating this law so that it will serve mm -hmm. and uh, help the Somali journalists report freely and accurately according to, to the journalism standards and ethics right. to the Somali journalists, regardless of group or government or a particular uh, uh, but when you talk in, about uh, journalists being, or at least Somalia being the worst place to work in, the, in, or one of the worst places to work as a journalist in the world, it's mostly because of the fear against their lives. And that's coming from such forces as Al-Shabaab. Is this media bill going to address that, in addition to, of course, government arrest sometimes of some reports? Yeah, I, I think that's a matter for the rule of law. Rule of law. It's a matter for the government. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's a matter of creating very strong, viable judiciary and the police systems in the country so that they can investigate attacks and threats and killings against journalists. Mm -hmm. That's for the government to do. It's an honor on the government to create this apparatus. The journalists, all they have to do is really, they, all they wanted to do and they hope for ideally is to work in a well, very uh, secure environment mm -hmm. where they can exercise their right to freedom of expression and dissemination freely. So just very briefly, the government actually reaching out to stakeholders, do you see that as a positive move that is really committed to free expression of, of reporting? It is a positive move, but uh, journalists would also like to see uh, the minimal intervention by the government into the creation and the establishment of this kind of laws. For instance, one of the main stumbling blocks in this law mm -hmm. is the creation of the so-called National Media Council, which is a 15-member council. Mm -hmm. The government wants to have about eight members of this council. And in the that council. In that okay. council, and the journalists are resisting that. Of course. Well, thank you so much. I hope that it works out in favor of the journalists. Thank That's, of course, Haroon Marouf, senior editor in VOA's Somali Service, joining us here today on Africa 54.